Have you been wondering how to take a screenshot or a snippet of your screen in Windows 11? Maybe you want to take that image and put an arrow on it so you can show your friends the hotel room you stayed in. Or maybe you're editing a document for a friend and there's an error that you need to circle and send it off to them. Well, today we're going to show you how to take a screenshot in Windows 11 using the snipping tool. Now, the snipping tool is a free piece of software included with Windows 11 that even includes some editing tools so you can draw on your image. It's really quite simple to do. So let's go ahead and dive right over to my Windows 11 desktop and get right into the Windows 11 snipping tool. All right, so here we are on my Windows 11 desktop. You can see I have my website open here. But the first thing we need to do is go ahead and open up the snipping tool here in Windows 11. So in order to do that, you can actually go down to your start menu, the little Windows icon here at the bottom, and you can left click on that. You can actually start searching for the snipping tool here where it says type here to search. So we're gonna type in snipping tool and you can see it starts coming up. It says snipping tool right there. That would be the easiest way to find the snipping tool. Now, if you're not seeing that, you can actually go back to the start menu there and go to all apps right here. And you can scroll through here all the way down to the letter S. This takes a little bit longer, but you should see the snipping tool right under the letter S right here. It says snipping tool. You can go ahead and left click on that and that's gonna load it right up. You'll see this little window that pops up here that says snipping tool. Now I actually like to pin this to my taskbar at the bottom. You can see it's there in my taskbar, but if I right click on it, I can actually click pin to taskbar here and that'll keep it in my taskbar permanently so I have easy access to it in the future. So I'm gonna pin that to my taskbar down there at the bottom. So now that I've got my snipping tool app open here, you can see there's a few different options. There's the new button, that's where we would push to start our snip. There's the mode button here. So right now it's at the window mode and we'll get right into that in a moment. And the third one here, we're gonna start with this one, it says no delay, and this is to delay your snip. So right now it's no delay. If I click on that, I can choose my snip to take a few seconds, just like on a camera, if you wanna delay when a photo is taken, you can do that with your snip here as well. I'm gonna leave mine on no delay, but you can select from three seconds, five seconds, or 10 seconds. So just keep that in mind if you do wanna delay your snips. Now this one here that says window mode, there's a whole bunch of different options depending on the type of snip you'd like to do. So when we click on this little down arrow here, we can select from rectangular mode. So we can draw a rectangle on our screen. There's window mode. So window mode is if we want to just take a screenshot of, for example, my website here and nothing else on the screen. There's full screen mode, which will take a screenshot of your full screen. And if you're running a multi-screen layout like I am, with two screens, it'll actually allow you to take a screenshot of both screens. And the third one, or I should say the fourth one here, is the free form mode. So this allows you to actually freehand draw on your screen and take a snipping of that as well. So we're gonna start out with the rectangle mode here. If I go ahead and click on that, and I click on new, it actually allows me to draw on my screen just like that. So maybe I just want to take that portion of the screen, I would draw that with my mouse, holding down the left mouse button. And when I click on that, you can see that it pops up here in my window. So that would be the first method. That would be the rectangle mode. Now I'm gonna open that back up and we're gonna look at some of the other modes. So the window mode, if I click on that and hit new, it'll allow me to select a window. So I can select my full window here of my screen. I can select this one, which would be just the window from Google Chrome where my website is. And maybe we'll do that one. I'm just gonna select that. And you can see that white rectangular box goes to wherever I'm pointing my mouse. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that one. And when I do that, it's gonna take that window and put it right into the snipping tool. The third one there, let me close that and open this right back up, is the, win or the full screen mode. If I go ahead and click on that, and hit new, it's gonna automatically snap a photo, you can see, of my screens, of both of my screens. So I've got my left screen here, as well as my right screen where I'm running OBS Studio and recording this video. And the fourth one here, let's go back in there, is the free form mode. So if I click on that, it allows me, when I hit new here, to actually draw freehand with my mouse. Maybe I just want a part of this cruise ship, just like this, I can draw on the screen and take the cruise ship just like that. So I do that, let go of the mouse button, and it's gonna bring that portion 
right into the snipping tool. I'm gonna to shut that one. I'm gonna go back and open this up and we're gonna go ahead and go back to the window mode. And I'm gonna take a window screenshot of this web page here of my website. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hit new. I'm gonna highlight that web page. We're just gonna go ahead and left click on that with my mouse. And it's gonna open up this snipping tool window for us. And this is where we can make some edits to the snip that we just took. Now, all of those snippings we just took, they didn't actually save on our computer. We still need to go ahead and save them here after we've done our any editing we wanna do. So if you just don't wanna do any editing, you can go ahead and click save up here in the corner. But if you do wanna draw on the screen or do different things, you can do that right here as well. So right at the top, you'll see there's a pen option. It says ballpoint pen. If I click on that, it allows me to select a color. Maybe I'll keep it on the red there and we can adjust the size, everything like that. And maybe, I, like I mentioned earlier, maybe I wanted to show someone where I was staying. Maybe it was this room right here and I can just draw an arrow like that on there. So you could save this and send it off to a friend and show them which room you were staying in. You can also click on the next one here, which is a highlighter. If I wanted to highlight something, maybe there's something cool in the clouds, I can do that there. Or you can adjust the size as well. So maybe not as thick, I want a smaller highlight, you can easily do that as well. There's an eraser button here that you can click on to erase, or if you click on it, you can erase all ink. That's gonna remove all the drawings that you've done on your screen. There's some other cool features in here as well. There's a ruler and a protractor. So if I click on that, I can use the protractor and move that around. If I click on that, I can go to ruler. If you wanna measure the distance, and there's also some other options here. So for example, this one is touch writing. And this one here is for image cropping. So I'm gonna turn off that ruler here and I'm gonna to go to image cropping. So let's say we took this screenshot and we actually only want a portion of it. You go to the image cropping and you can actually drag the corners in here as well, just like that. And maybe I want it there. Maybe I just wanna get that portion of the cruise ship just like that. And once you've done that, you can go ahead and hit the check mark here. And it's gonna take just that portion of the cruise ship into our kind of image here. So once you've got the image that you like, maybe you've got some drawings on there, you've got your little arrows pointing to the hotel room or the cruise ship room you stayed in, we can go ahead and save this image. So you'll see there's a little save button here in the corner. You can hit Control S as well. This is a shortcut on your keyboard. We're gonna go ahead and click on that save button. So you do need to do this for all of your screenshots. Now you can select where you'd like this. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on my desktop here and maybe I will call it uh, cruise. And we can also select what type of file this is gonna be. So right now it's currently set to JPEG, but we can select from PNG or a GIF there as well. I'm gonna leave it on JPEG and we're just gonna go ahead and hit save and I have that set to save on my desktop here and it should pop up right there in the corner. Let's open that up. There it is, just how we want it. So that would be how you would use the snipping tool. Now I do wanna show you a shortcut here as well, which is very handy if you're just wanting to copy and paste an image into a document. So let's go ahead and open up the snipping tool here again. And you can see at the bottom here, it says press Windows logo key plus shift plus S to start a snip. So let's try that out. So if you're not sure what the Windows logo key is, it's usually a key a couple to the left of your spacebar. So go ahead and push that down. It looks like a Windows logo. You can also go ahead and hit the Shift key at the same time and then push the S key, all of the keys at the same time. And once you do that, there's gonna be a pop-up that happens here. And at the top, you can see when you hover over them, you can do a rectangular snip, a freeform snip, a window snip, or a full screen snip, or you can hit X here to close the snipping tool. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go, maybe we'll pick the window snip. Let's go ahead and click on that. And when I do that, I can hover over different areas of my screen again. So if I wanna snip my website screen, I can just hover over that. You can see it goes bright. Or the full screen, I can do that as well. Let's go ahead and do it with my um, website screen here. So I'm just gonna left click on that with my mouse. And when I do that, you can see there's a pop-up here in the bottom right-hand corner and says snip copy to clipboard. So what that allows me to do is if I wanna copy that screenshot into maybe a Word document or a Google Docs document, I can easily do that. So let's go ahead and open up 
my test document, or you can even copy it into an email or anything like that as well. So I've got this test document here in Google Docs. Now to put that image from my clipboard here into the document, I can just find where I wanna insert it. I can right click with my mouse, not left click, but right click. And you'll see an option here that says paste. I can go ahead and paste that, or I can use the shortcut, which is control V on my keyboard. So I'm gonna go ahead and left click on paste, and you can see it put that image or my screenshot right into my document here in Google Docs. So it's really that simple to do. Now, if I did want to edit this as well, like before, so let me try that again. Windows key, Shift and S, and maybe I want to take the whole screenshot this time, I'm gonna do that. When there's this pop-up here, I can just go ahead and select it in the bottom right-hand corner rather than using the clipboard. I just select it. It's gonna take us back to where we were before where I can draw on the screen. Maybe I want some blue this time. I can draw on the screen or I can highlight the screen, everything like that. And then I would just hit my save button here and save it to my desktop or wherever I like again. And really it's that simple to take screenshots and snippets of your screen and even edit them here in Windows 11 using the Windows 11 snipping tool. So I hope this video was able to help you out in taking screenshots with the Windows 11 snipping tool. If it did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Also remember to connect with me on social media. You will find all those links below in the description. Subscribe here on YouTube and click that bell notification. It's totally free and I'd love to have you join the Northern Viking community. Thank you so much for watching today and until next time, take care.